<coughs> Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the great millstone, GMS. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Bayat, the Shah Davada, the house of David, the tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Adawan Rataza, <coughs> that is to say, Lord willing. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, sincerely hope it is edifying. All right. So yeah, welcome to another episode of uh, <coughs> earthquakes, tempests, natural disasters. All right. And uh, today is Wednesday, the fourteenth of July, two thousand twenty-four. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And uh, I came across this uh, article from endtimeendlines.org. All right. And I've actually got another article to share with you as well, on the lines of the same topic. And uh, yeah. As you can see, the headline says, Quake felt from Los Angeles to San Diego, California, swaying buildings and knocking items off shelves. Okay, so, you know, the Lord seriously is visiting the world which he made. All right. It says a 4.4 magnitude earthquake was strongly felt Monday afternoon from the Los Angeles area all the way to San Diego, swaying buildings, rattling dishes, setting off car alarms but no major damage or injuries were immediately reported okay so hey either way man Yahweh Bashim is uh, giving Babylon the Great America all right body shots man after body shots okay America is just circling the drain all right the economies all sorts of through all right the, the minds of the people are just Corrupted, all right. It's, it's all about confusion, all right. That's what Babal is in Hebrew confusion, okay. <laughs> There's all sorts of outbreaks, all right. Diseases, things also being recalled, all right, from shelves, okay. The cost of living increasing, people having to work two or three jobs just to keep afloat, all right. So, hey man, we're coming to the end of E. All right, his kingdom. All right. Monday's quake was centered near the Los Angeles neighborhood of Highland Park, about six and a half miles northeast of Los Angeles City Hall, and about seven and a half miles below the surface, the U.S. Geological Survey said. The quake was felt from Greater Los Angeles south to San Diego, San Diego, and east to the Palm Springs desert region, according to the USGS community reporting page. A small number of reports were filed from the southern San Joaquin Valley about 100 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Okay. I won't read all this. Okay. Let's pick certain parts out. Look at this. Los Angeles firefighters from all 106 stations surveyed the 470 square mile city and found no significant damage. The quake served more as a reminder of what could happen in a state where a huge population lives a Above active fault lines. Now the way, man, the Lord is judging you wicked people that walk the earth. Okay. And Babylon the Great is destined for this for destruction. Okay. So before we go further, let's get the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 16. In fact, before we go there, actually. Let's get second edges chapter 9. In verse 1 and it reads he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part the signs past which i have told thee before then shall thou understand that it is ver that is the that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made all right and how we measure in the times man all right by <clears throat> relating what's going on in current um events current news and lining it up with the scriptures okay because Bible prophecy is certainly taking place, all right? <clears throat> and, you know, we've seen all the signs coming to, the, coming to pass, all right? That's why the Lord has, you know, his prophets, <clears throat> you know, prophesying, okay? Proph prophesying against Mount Seir, all right? Prophesying against, you know, this wicked kingdom, America, all right? Exposing you devils, okay? Verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes... Okay, like that one there, and uproars of the people in the world, and we, we've seen that, man. Constant protests, all right, riots all over the UK, all right. You know, you've got the MUS, LIMS, 
I'll say it like that. M U S L I M S, right? Versus, you know, the, the right wing, far right, you know, group and stuff like that. Okay. You know, you got that going on, all right? <clears throat> right? And ultimately, there's, there's distractions as well. Okay. You know, people are, you know, the morning man, okay, because the wicked are bearing rule, all right? Verse 4, then, sh then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. That's right. Verse 5, for like as all that is made in the world have the beginning and then end, and the end is manifest. That's right, the end, the end is surely manifest, man. Okay. <clears throat> this was spoken about in the beginning and it's, you know, taking place right now. Alright. Notice how no other religious text goes into things like this. All right. Get the book of the prophet. Uh, Isaiah chapter twenty nine verse. I'm at verse six. That's right. See, but only the holy scriptures, the Bible. All right, speaks of these things. Okay, which is set apart from any other, you know, religious text. So verse six, Isaiah chapter twenty nine verse six reads, "You shall be visited of the Lord, when you ever see the capital letters of." Lord, like that, all right, L O R D, all capitalized, talking about the Heavenly Father, your house, okay. <clears throat> Thou shalt be visited, the Lord, your house of hosts, all right, your house through his son, your house shy, okay, because the Lord is a man of war, the Lord is his name, all right, and he's bringing in this weather warfare, man, all right, and you can't stop this, you see. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake, again, there's the word earthquake. And great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. There's been all sorts of so-called natural disasters, man. Tsunamis, right? You know, tornadoes, wildfires. We just had that recent, you know, earthquake in Japan again. And you had that at the, either the start of this year or was it last year? It, within the first month, January. Right? You had the, a mega earthquake again. All right? Forget if it was either the beginning of this year or, or last year, the way time is moving so quick. All right, and again, you just had that earthquake again with Japan, you know, a few days ago. You see, the Lord is, is certainly judging, right, the world which He made, man. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's get the, uh, the next article. Or we can carry on with that one, alright? I heard a while back they're saying that Los Angeles could split off and be its own, you know, state, alright? <coughs> the way things are going. So, this person said, having lived through the Northridge earthquake, magnitude 6.7 in 1994, today's tremor made the, me flash back to what we know are life-saving rules during an earthquake. Drop, cover, and hold on, said Los Angeles County Supervisor Catherine Barger, or Barger. It was also a reminder to us that we all live in earthquake country and we need to be prepared. The National Weather Service said a tsunami was not expect, expected and the USGS downgraded its initial estimate of 4.6 for the quake's magnitude. Richard Egan was eating lunch with his colleagues on the second floor of an office building near the Long Beach airport about 20 miles south of the quake's epicenter when there was a sudden jolt. He said it got really quiet and we waited for a bigger quake to follow. There was rolling for about 45 seconds he estimated but with no more shaking the lunchtime conversation resumed where it left off said Egan who has lived through many quakes during his 59 years in Southern California. He rated this one as average. The quake struck on the first day of the new school year for, for 540,000 students. In the Los Angeles Unified School District, many schools felt the quake and at least one high school, John Marshall in Los Feliz, alerted parents that they, ever, they, that they had evacuated the building to check for damage but didn't see any immediately. We have not received reports of any injuries or significant damage to our facilities. Right, District Superintendent Alberto said in a social media post. Okay. 
yeah, man. All the wickedness, all the the filth that Babylon the Great pushes out, man. All right, it's getting its judgment. Okay. We've got more behavior rampant over there. All right. And all sorts. Here's the other article. From the same source, of course. That yeah, rhymes. Uh, and it was last year, I believe, where the, a major earthquake hit, you know, Syria as well. Or the Turkey, Turkey, Syria. Turkey, I think, if I remember correctly. All right. And here we have, all right, recent article again, okay, earthquake strikes Syria, rattling nerves amid memories of last year, that's it, last year's deadly temblor, all right, an earthquake shook central Syria late Monday, local authorities said, causing no major damages, but rattling the nerves of residents who remembered last year's devastating temblor that struck northern Syria and Turkey, that was it, yeah. Syria's National Center for Earthquakes said a 5.5 magnitude quake struck 28 kilometers east of the city of Hama at 11.56 p.m. local time. Okay, the U.S. Geological Survey put the quake's magnitude at 5 and said it had a depth of 10 kilometers. There were no immediate reports of deaths. Local authorities in Hama, or Hama and surrounding government-held areas reported no damages. Syria's state-run news agency S-A-N-A -A said, all right. In the country's opposition held northwest, the local civil defense agency known as the White Helmets also said there were no damages. In Damascus and Beirut, the capital of the neighboring Lebanon, where the earthquake was also felt, residents descended to the streets fearing a stronger quake would collapse buildings. In Lebanon, nerves were already on edge due to fears of an, of an escalation in the ongoing conflict between the militant group Hezbollah and the JJ forces that could pull the country into a full on war. On the 6th of February 2023, a massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Syria and Turkey. Yep, last year. I thought it was a bit later on in the year, but it was early up in the year. So it deleted more than 59,000 people and worsening the devastation in already war torn Syria. Okay, so a lot's happening in, in that region. Okay, as well. Not just with the this earthquake but you know by the way this is all bible prophecy let's get one last scripture we can close out book of psalm chapter 46 all right <clears throat> and verse we'll start at verse 7 the lord of hosts is with us the power of jacob is our refuge that's right and he's certainly with all right the elect of the nation of israel the so-called negroes latinos and native americans and the israelite foreigners for a bird man all right but this time around is you know <clears throat> The Lord is looking for his elect. Okay. Verse 8. Come behold the works of ha Adawan Yahweh. What desolations he hath made in the earth. That's right, man. The Lord has, you know, brought forth much destruction. All right. Through various, you know, storms and tempests. Okay. And many, many lives have been, you know, taken. Okay. So, yeah. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.